Hey, what's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be going over how to make low poly smoke. Um, mostly because if you have like a spaceship or something, sometimes you might want like a trail of smoke to go behind it. Um, and just doing the volumetrics within Blender, like the smoke simulations, takes forever to bake. And like often I feel like they don't look super great. So. I'm just going to go over a quick way of doing some low poly smoke simulations that can trail behind a ship or whatever, you know. Um, so let's get started. First, I'm just going to add in a UV sphere. This is going to be my emitter. I'm just going to shade it smooth real fast. We're going to hide this so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, next, I'm going to add in another UV sphere. Go and move this around a little bit. This is going to be our smoke may not look like it yet but just one second we're gonna go into the modifiers tab add a displacement modifier then go down here i don't know why it's here but textures property add a new texture then clouds so it looks pretty bad let's take the size up a little bit there I'm just trying to get like a nice smooth looking displacement um oh, one thing we're gonna want to do is go back to the modifiers and set this to global pretty much what that does is just ties the shape of it to a global location so you can see how when I move it around it'll like warp it a little bit um, so this is just helpful for you know I want to get like real quickly just um, some nice smooth looking deformations so let's take the size down a little bit that kind of looks like a blob so that's perfect gonna add material to it and then we start to duplicate it and you can see it's looking weird just keep doing that um, I'm gonna apply scale Ooh, that didn't help okay hold on don't do that take it over here okay and maybe one more Scale it up. Okay. So that's looking all right. Yeah, we'll go with something like that. All right. Scale him down a little bit. Cool. Now to select them all, right click, move to collection, create a new collection. We're going to call this Smoky. Cool. All right. That's kind of the hard part. So I'm just going to move these out of the way real fast. Don't need them quite yet. Oh, actually, don't do that. Okay. We're just gonna hide this collection from the render before we forget. So right click it, go to visibility, disable and render. Great. All right, now here we're gonna add a particle emitter. We're gonna go down to render, collection, and smoky is the one that we want. Now, let's just see. Great, it's spitting them off. That's what we want. Doesn't look anything like smoke yet. Um, to do that, we're going to go to field weights, turn gravity all the way down. Now they're just going to shoot out in random directions like that. Um, go over to scale, let's just set it to one, see what that's like. Okay, yeah, we're getting close. Um, let's see, we want to go to velocity and take the normal velocity. This is just what's shooting it off in random directions. Uh, when it starts so you want to crank that down so it looks kind of like it's puffing up a little bit see like that um, then let's see i'm going to crank this up so we can kind of play around with it i'm going to do 450 frames so that means it'll go for all 450 frames that we're keying in down here and here we go i'm just going to keyframe this real fast so oops put that in the wrong place take it back to zero or one keyframe the location go all the way to the end maybe a little past um, and then just move it way down the y axis there we'll go like this far I think now when we play it it's gonna move and it's starting to look kind of like a smoke trail is there um, so a few more things we can do to make this look better. Go back to the particle settings, 
Let's make the lifetime on these be like 350 frames or so. Let's see what that does. Yeah, because you just want like a nice little trail to be following it. Um, the velocity on it might still be a little too big. Um, so go back to normal. I'm going to crank this down to like 0 0.9. Yeah, because I want them to stay pretty like clumped up there. There you go. That looks pretty good. Um, just a little bit of randomness in it. Check rotation and turn randomize up. Turn the phase up just a little bit and then randomize phase as well. This is going to just help rotate the objects around a little bit. Um, provide a little more randomness. Um, scale randomness. Just crank that up just a little bit. I might crank the scale up a little bit as well there. Yeah, so I'm just trying to randomize everything as much as possible. I'll even throw a little bit of randomness on the lifetime. You'll see here now they'll just start to like dissipate a little bit. Hold on. There it goes. Yeah, so it kind of adds like a nice little trail. All right, so that's looking decent. I'm just going to load in an HDRI real fast so we can kind of get a um, feel for it. So if you have HDRIs, go ahead and do that. Just an environment texture there. Then navigate to the folder. I like this one probably for this. Load into. S oh. oh, I made that go the wrong way. Um, yeah, so hold on. I'm just going to readjust this. I want it to go along the x axis. It'll just be easier to like see against this backdrop compared to like here or something like this you know I just like it better but uh, do what you want whoops here we go X move it along that all right let's see how it's looking cool um, one other thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down here to children set it to simple and I'm gonna turn the radius up a little bit and turn the roundness up all the way. Um, we'll do random size again. This just kind of helps to fill it out. It's just pretty much creating like little duplicates off of like the initial one. So you see how there's like second ones here. Um, randomize the size a little bit. Crank that radius up. Nice. It's looking pretty smoky. Um, so pretty soon, hold on, we're going to get into uh, like texturing these things the right way so you can get a better look. Uh, ideally, you want to keep it as low poly as possible. I'll show you. Um, we can like, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to crank the size up and then, oh wait, wrong size there. Go to scale, crank this up a little bit, and then bring down the number. Oops, start there. Take the simple, yeah, okay. That's looking okay. Delete this light. Okay, so we have our smoke now. Um, it's looking decent. Let's play with some textures. So if you go back to the initial object you made, all of their um, materials should be on the same thing. So it should all be material one. So like if I were to change the color to red, you know, you see it all move around like that. Um, real quick, I'm going to switch into cycles because most of these only work well in cycles. I'm just going to go to GPU. I don't know what kind of gear you're using, but um, for me, I got the uh, RTX 2070 Super. So you can rock in cycles and put on denoising and it's relatively fast. Um, quick, take these up. This is just for rendering. Um, okay, so I think we're still on it. Yeah, let's go over to the shading viewport. Jump in here. Keep this lighting going. All right, so there's a few options that I found work pretty well. First of which is just this like plain white. It doesn't look bad, honestly, if you're going for like a low poly type thing. Um, I think it works really well. But let's say you want something more realistic can go into principled volume plug that into the volume there and then turn the density up to like oops uh oh 
There we go. Turn it up to like nine. Let's see what that looks like. Hold on, it's trying to figure it out. Yeah, as you can see, the computer clearly hates this. That's why I don't typically do it like this, because it's just very demanding, because it's trying to pass light through like every single one of these volumetrics, and there's like a bunch of them since we're using an emitter. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good, I guess. Um, if you wanted something more realistic looking, that's a good option. But I'm going to take it off for now because it just goes so slowly. Something I found that can be cool is if you just throw a glass BSDF on here. Um, yeah, look at that. That looks pretty sick. It doesn't look like smoke, really. could be like some weird like trail thing going on. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's a pretty cool look there I'm gonna roll with that for now real quick we're gonna rig it up so that um you can attach it to like a ship or something um, so I'm just gonna model this is literally gonna be the worst Oop. I don't know <laughs> I put that into my smoky collection so that's why it was weird um, yeah there's gonna be a really bad ship it's just mainly to like demonstrate you know um, so pretty bad but uh all right, so we're going to grab our emitter here, scale it down. Here we go. I'm going to go back so that we can see it. OK, here we go. Just bring it in, bring it around, make sure it looks lined up. One. Here we go. Something like that is fine. Real quick, just go into the emitter settings here. And under, what is it under? Show emitter, under render settings, uncheck show emitter. We don't really wanna see that. Um, and then just go here, control P, parent to object, good. Shift D, create a duplicate. And then under this one, when you have this one selected, just go to seed and scale it up to one or two or whatever, anything other than zero, because we want them to be different than each other. Um, great. Oh, and also delete the, we put some keyframes on here. We don't need those anymore because we're parenting the object. So now it's parented to this guy. So when you move him around, it's going to move the emitters. Um, so now we can just keyframe this guy real fast. Let's see. Move them up pretty far, I guess. Do like a quick like camera setup too. Oh, whoops. Make sure you move that first. There we go. Move it up here. Let's see. Wow. How are you looking? Oops. I'm going to take this glass off for now. We're not ready to play with that yet. But the glass is looking pretty cool. I'm just going to put on the basic one, though. For, cause I, I honestly like this one the best, I think. Um, under the emitter, let's take the scale down. I think I scaled it up too big. Here. Should be good. And under children, radius, take that in a bit. There we go. That's looking better. And we can just move guys back I don't need to be right up on it how are we looking okay move them up just a little bit there great Let's see what that's looking like yeah not bad I actually just move them there we go cool and then if you want to see like how they're working really well keyframe rotation on the first frame and then go to the end and then on the x coordinates do a 360 now you should get a fun little spin whoa nice yeah that looks pretty cool right bring it back around it's gonna slow down because we have it set to a interpolated but if you go to 
or uh, we had it set on Bezier. Uh, go to Lanier though. We'll just uh, boom. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, obviously just comment. Um, and I'll try and answer them. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, good luck.